All right, welcome back. Um, last episode, we defeated Ursula for good and got done with Atlantica. So now, I've done that. I do believe I have made it further than the super best friend. But, enough with jokes. Time to actually go to a good world that I think is fun. If we can get through the going ship mission. Might be a little difficult to do that. Seems to be very slow. And our haste only works every couple of seconds. The good old Halloween town. Let's disembark. Sure, this sure is a spooky place. I bet the people here are really scary looking too. Don't worry, we look spooky too. If they're scared of us, we'll scare them right back. But if they scare us, we'll scare them right back. You think so? Now, interesting thing is that, like, when you first enter, if you listen to the music, it's not exactly like. Um. Not exactly like uh, the uh, this is Halloween song. It's slightly different, and I think in the soundtrack I've heard it's called like the soft chord version. And I kind of find it interesting because I don't think this version plays after a while. Like he just gets replaced with the actual instrumental of this is Halloween. Like you only hear it when you first enter the world. These hearts don't seem to be interested in fighting us. So it gives us some free time to, I was going to say explore, but never mind, the cutscene. Some, that's quite a costume. Welcome to Halloween Town. To our town, Halloween means everything. Jack and the rest of us are always looking for new ways to scare people. Yeah, probably my favorite world in this game. Is Halloween Town. Mostly because Nightmare for Christmas is my favorite movie. Of all time. So, that might have something to do with it. Okay. Okay. Get out of being uh stupid that I can actually jump on that jump up to that. She power up Okay now so I have a thing. 
Oh, there, there's two chests. And what I'm pretty sure is that, spoilers, you get uh, the glide ability. Where you can fly. I'm sure anyone watching this is aware of that. It's aware of what this game is. And has already played it, so... I'm pretty sure the intended way is to use glide to... Uh, glad you're way over there. But I have a, str a specific memory of me playing this game, being able to get over there without Clyde. As it, this falls like jumping on the sledge, at the very edge of the side up, and then like uh, tacking to get a little momentum, then you could. I think either grab onto a ledge, grab onto that ledge, and you could get this without using glide. Glide. I have this memory of me playing this game a long time ago, doing that. But I have never been able to recreate it. I've never been able to do that again. Out of the many times I have played this game. So I have no idea where that memory came from. And why it's so vividly clear of me doing this. And actually uh, making it work. Um, I have just come to the conclusion that I am just making stuff up. And this memory. Everything. But if anyone's out there who can actually get this without using Glide, please tell me, show me, so that I'm not just making stuff up. I actually have a memory of me getting that without using Glide once. Or getting like those two chests without Glide, but... Eh. Who knows? And I think if you ring the doorbell on Jack's house like three times, you get like a mega ether or something. Uh, an elixir, okay. Your experiments are, aren't always. Heartless need a heart. Doctor, do you think we can add a heart to that device? Certainly. A heart's not all bad, complicated. Now, let's get to work. To make a heart, first take a container with a lock. We need the key to this thing first. Now, how convenient, because we have a key. A big one. You're really going to unlock it for them? Why not? If they succeed, we won't have to fight the Heartless, right? Besides, I want to see the Heartless dance too. Don't you? Not really. Here's Halloween. What's this Heartless doing here? Oh, the Heartless came to town just recently. What's frustrating is I can't get them to dance with me. So, the doctor and I are trying to improve the guidance system. He's quite a genius. Okay, doctor, let's continue. The ingredients for a heart. Oh, emotion. Bear. Mix them all together, and we have a heart. And 
that's alive. No, oh, no, no. To the heart? I don't think that's where memories are stored. Let's go to Dura Dunno for something cooler. So they should have the memory we need. But she's not here, where could that girl be? Stuck, guys. The torn page for the Winnie the Pooh book. I guess I should check out uh, Jack's stuff. He should have some money. He doesn't have very item slots. Pick one less than. He has one less item slot than Donald. Okay. Let's look at his abilities. Uh, offstage foes with booster mana and long range sliding attack. Fire, ice, thunder. Um, it's a gravity, which is a spell we don't actually have ourselves. So he actually has all of the offensive uh, magic spells. Jack does, so he's up. Take the jack as a um, a black mage. Jack, Jack, we have a major crisis. The partners are completely out of control. We can't stop them. It's interesting that his eyes on his other face still blinks. He's blinking very fast. The Harlots are completely out of control. The festival will be ruined. Give him, Jack. So, <laughs> so that they characters like Sora, Donald, and Goofy have this new costume that they can fit in. It's not just like they change the costume; like they change the coloring on them. Like their hair is like a different shade; it's more darker, and they have this overall texture applied to them to make it feel very not more for Christmas like. Which I always thought was cool, uh, but the thing you might is the problem that you might look at right now, that you can see right now, that the the keyblade does not have the same texture effect to it, and it really stands out, especially this one, which is weird. And the Heartless actually have the same texture too. They have like the, the same like uh... oh, let's, ch let's check this place out too. Once the Heartless are, the Heartless are out of her way. Dang, it got interrupted. Stop that.
Stop that. So you have the, uh, this is a new Heartless. F uh, like the Toothless World that you, f I mean, it's not exclusive to this world, but you first find in, the, in this world. I think it's called a White Knight. Behind the grave. Everything's going great. We're going to have the best Halloween ever. All we need now is your memory. Memory? You mean it? Jack, Forget me now. She is. Jack, why not have these kids start in star in the festival instead? They both look rather frightful and funny too. They be better than the heartless. Oh. Zero disappears if you kind of walk into him. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Completely walked into that and stopped for a second. Like I'm pretty sure, like the the camera was meant to like kind of pan over to Sally, like a frame before it actually did to make it work. Philip. <laughs> 